Let's see what the wonderful, the one and only Steve Headley thinks uh, about this particular subject. I think we can probably predict it. Steve, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Well, thank you for the invite. I'm doing well, thanks. No, pleasure. Look, you and I have spoken before. Um, I think I'm one of the few presenters that hasn't thrown you off a talk show. Um, so I don't intend to do that today. So I'm sure we'll have a very cordial conversation. Um, where are you, Steve, by the way? You're out and about by the looks of it. You're not at work, I hope, are you? No, I'm in Swansea, actually, at a friend's retirement do. OK, we're well, sorry to interrupt that, uh, but look, let, let's talk about what's happening with ASLEF in particular. Obviously, you're a former RMT Assistant General Secretary, so obviously I appreciate that the news over the last 24 hours, Steve, is much more about ASLEF. Obviously, ASLEF have had this uh, near 15% pay rise offered to them. Obviously, they're going to vote on that towards the end of the month. But, I mean, surprise, surprise to most of us, I mean, certainly to consumers and commuters, and indeed, I suspect, the Labour government, as left, put another rabbit out the hat and say, well, we're going to go on strike anyway because of um, our concerns over so-called management, bullying and so on. Um, do you not think that this is a bridge too far, Steve? I mean, come on, seriously. I mean, the poor commuter, right, can, the poor commuter. Can you, can you add up? Can you add up? Well, I mean, can, to a reasonable can you do number. Mathematics? To a reasonable number, yeah. Right, I, I can okay, say right. up to 15. So, so add, add up, add up, 2.86%, 1.5%, 4%. Yeah. Eleven point six percent, nine point seven percent, and three point one percent. So it's about thirty-two percent. It, yeah, it's about thirty-two percent. So yeah. what has left have been offered? Uh, because they haven't had a fa they haven't had a pay raise in five years. Is the uh, half of that, which is about fourteen, nearly fifteen percent over uh, three three years. Two of them, which have already passed, and one of them, which is on the horizon, which is a real terms pay cut of about 15 percent okay so there there we are you've got a magnificent pay officer pay offer of a minus 15 percent over the entire period where they've had a pay freeze yeah well steve it's now, not it's if not you're, if you're if you're going to if you're going to portray that as a as a some sort of left-wing victory as some sort of uh trade union bureaucrat uh pulling a rabbit out of a hat will carry on. Well, well Steve, uh, I, mean, so I, you're, I think that, you're, I what think you're conflating. So, so, Steve, what you're conflating then is the fact that because inflation has been a total mm. a culmination of all of those numbers that oh. you just added up to 32%, that for some reason the government has to match the rate of inflation. Why, why do you think that the government have an obligation to match the rate of inflation over those five years as a pay offer? Why? Well, because... If they don't match the rate of inflation, in real terms, the pay is not what it was. If inflation is 30 percent and the pay offer is 15 percent, then people have lost 15 percent in real terms. Let, let, let's just go back to the point. So hang on. Ra rather than the politics of spite and envy, Steve, rather than the politics of spite and envy, should we get back to the point? Well, the, the point is that we have a society that is completely out of kilter. We've got people like your boss who minimise the amount of tax that they are paid. No, 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 we no. Have people like the on, I, I, I hate to use this as a pun. Can we get back on track, Steve? Steve, Steve, you weren't invited on to talk about, you know, global oh, communism well, and its benefits what, what, or indeed what, what, Rupert Murdoch or anybody else. We invited you on, Steve, to talk about the fact that the unions are being a little bit greedy and are do, so doing a gross injustice and... Pay cut Steve, is greedy. a gross disservice a to the commuters of this country. A 15% pay cut is greedy. A 15% pay cut in real terms so, is greedy. Steve, Steve let, let me agree with you for a second. Hang on. The maths, you are right, of course. Everybody yeah. is worse off because inflation over the last two or three years in particular right. has been so high. That affects everybody in the e Western world. Except your world. boss, Rupert Murdoch, no, no, and no, fellow believe me, tax inflation affects, No, no, I, I'm sorry. Their money I, hate, I, hate, offshore accounts. I hate to burst your bubble, Steve. put their money in the it Cayman Islands. It affects everybody. Inflation affects everybody. But leaving sorry? Rupert Murdoch or indeed, you know, any other media yeah. company owner to one side yeah. for a second. Is it fair that ASLEF, who have had this offer, which, by the way, the recommendation from that union is to accept that 15% pay offer, is it fair that within 48 hours they immediately then decide to come up with another load of bunkum reasons to go on strike? Do we just think that, frankly, well, this well, is listen, anarchy? Listen, listen this you is brought anarchy. me on here to talk about the ASLEF pay deal. Yeah, right? not Rupert Murdoch. You, you don't... You do, you, well, you brought me on to talk <laughs> about the ASLEF pay deal and how that can be funded. And the reason that that can be funded very easily 
is people like your boss, Rupert Murdoch, should pay their fair share in taxes. Hang on, Steve. We have Steve, 20 do, billion pounds a year in avoided Stephen, innovative really taxes think, in this country. Stephen, Stephen do you, you really think that rich people paying more tax would filter through to bigger pay awards? Of course it wouldn't, Steve. Steve, look, look, this is where the left go horribly wrong. Your communistic <laughs> naivety listen, is the listen. politics of envy. You think the that left, anybody that earns left, more than you should wrong. pay you're, maximum you're, you're, tax. You're, you're, people, you're, 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 you're part of an organisation... Steve, stop. I'm not interested in having be, a conversation about this organisation. Steve, I'm only interested in having a conversation with you about the railways. Something I thought, Steve, I thought you were qualified... Steve, maybe you're not qualified enough to talk about unions. Oh, has he gone? Oh, dear.